What's up guys? So Limax just sent us some of their products for uh, capacity test because Limax we are confident we know the product we put we put out and uh, you know our products are reliable and the only way to find out that Limax is actually reliable is for us to do a capacity test on their battery because they are also promising us five to you know six years warranty and uh, six thousand life cycle with eighty percent depth of discharge. Now if you observe, I've set everything up for us to do uh, the capacity test on this battery to see if this battery is actually up to 1.2 uh, sorry if it's actually up to 10.2 kilowatt hour now everything is connected this is their 6 kb inverter or 6 kilowatt inverter we have uh, some appliances here which will represent our load you can see we have some bulbs here and uh, we have another one here so i want to drain out this battery very fast I want it to drain out very fast because I don't have like 10 hours, 14 hours to sit down and be monitoring how much energy we are consuming from the battery. So like I said, this is 10.2 kilowatt hour and uh, I might be applying load of about 4,000 watts on this battery. So at 80% DOD, it means we can consume 8,000 watts from this battery. So if we are consuming 8,000 watts from this battery at 80% DOD, if we apply load of 4,000 watts, it should take us at least two hours. So let's start. So you can see the battery state of charge is 99.97% because, because I charged this battery before this uh, experiment. So I put on the inverter, it will take some time for it to pick and give outputs. So let's be patient. The inverter is on now. I had to reduce the load because on our energy meter, we are pulling about 4,600 watts, which is above what I wanted uh, the uh, inverter to power. So if you see, I've already removed like four bulbs from here, and I'll still reduce it again. Now, we are draining about 4,000 something watts, that's 4,600 watts from the inverter. So I have to reduce the load. The load is still about 4,200 watts, and that's because I put on the AC so that you know the temperature will not be too high. You can see it's 4,000, um, let's say 300 watts, and we've put about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 kilowatts. And uh, the amount of current we are draining from the uh, inverter to the battery is 18.6 amps at 0 0.9, that's let's say one power factor now i will use uh i will use digital multimeter i'll use my clam meter to check the amount of current we are pulling from the battery so on the though on the battery end the battery will actually show us uh the amount of current we are pulling out now let's see you can see it we are pulling out about 89 amps you can see it we are pulling out about 89 amps or let's say 90 amps so how many hours will it take us or how many minutes will it take us to drain out this battery if we keep pulling this 90 amps from this battery so it should take us last at least one hour plus or two hours at 80 percent dod you know everything we want to know is actually displayed on the battery bank because the battery pack voltage is 52.2 volts while uh the current we are pulling now have dropped to 87.7 uh, amps so if we multiply that 87.7 multiply by 52.2 that's about 4500 watts so approximately we are pulling about 4500 watts from this battery that's on the dc end while on the ac end it's showing us about 4200 watts which is the amount of energy we are pulling from that very side so if we are pulling that amount of energy how many hours will it take us to drain out this battery this battery is uh a 10.2 kilowatt hour that's 10,200 multiplied by 80 percent we are supposed to consume at least 8,160 watts from this battery that is 8.1 kilowatt hour that is what we are supposed to pull from this battery so if i have 8.1 kilowatt hour to pull from this battery and we are pulling 4.5 kilowatts so it will take us about one hour 50 minutes or one hour 40 minutes
on the inverter screen the total energy consumption is 9.9 .9 kilowatts that is 9900 watts energy consumed from this very battery bank on the battery bank we still have at least about uh, we have a, i think about eight percent left at 92 percent dod we consume 900 and uh, we consume 9,900 watts, which is 9.9 .9 kilowatts, was the amount of energy pulled from this very battery bank. So uh, the conclusion of uh, this uh, capacity test is that the Limax 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery is up to the rated capacity. If we are to pull out this remaining 8.45%, uh, we will get up to 10.1, or at least 10 point something kilowatt hour, because the battery is a 10.2 kilowatt hour, and at 90%, at 92% DOD, we pulled 9.9 .9 kilowatt hour from this very battery bank. The reason is because this uh, inverter stores uh, the amount of energy consumed that's from the battery bank, either from the battery bank or from the grid. It keeps a record of that. So that is why we're able to see how much energy we consume from, you know, uh, this very battery bank. Here we have 9.4 kilowatt hour. That is the amount of, you know, uh, energy pull from the output of the inverter while this one showing 99.9 9 .9 kilowatts is the total amount of energy from the battery bank that includes uh, the the conversion from direct current to alternating current the running of the fans everything inclusive give us that 9.9 .9 kilowatt hour that is within two hours because the amount of load we consume was about 4200 to about 4500 watts so if 4500 watts was on the battery end while uh, the 4200 watt was on the AC point, which is direct current to alternating current. So, direct current to alternating current was 4500 watt, while the alternating current was about 4200 watt. So, from the total record here, which is 10.9 .9 kilowatt hour, it means this battery is up to the rated capacity. So, at 80% DOD, you can pull 8100 watt from this very battery. So, don't forget to drop your opinion on what you feel like about this battery the comment session.